gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, welcome to the Chamonix, you guys. Here we are hanging out today, uh, mid-August, and we're going to do some pork belly. So I picked this bad boy up at the butcher block, and I went with a bit thinner of one, as you can see. And uh, then I took this skin off. Just have a look here. <laughs> and get rid of that skin. Now that you save for the bean pot. That goes right in the bean pot. When you make beans next time, I'll take that and uh, simmer that with beans. Very good, very good. Good with fried potatoes too. And anyhow, see how I cut it up, you guys? I cut it in little chunks, not little chunks. We're not doing burnt ends or nothing, but I just kind of cut them up like this. They cook a bit quicker this way. They take in a bit more flavor. And uh, what I've used here, get a close up of that. Sockle Busters, love these guys, fantastic. Hit your barbecue store up, you guys, go get some Sockle Busters, excellent stuff. Love this champion barbecue ship, or, uh, championship rub sorry and here we have the suckle busters pecan a little sweetness great with chicken and pork so that's what's on there and then what i do right before we go to throw these bad boys on and of course i never opened it i hit costco yesterday and i love costco spice there's lots there affordable too when you go through lots of spice like the chamois it's nice to have so i put a little bit of black pepper right before now i'll tell you why I'm doing a show today, you guys, so that's why I didn't do it. But usually, I will let this sit in the fridge for about eight hours or more and uh, cook it the next day, basically. But I put a little black pepper on top. It helps catch the smoke and gives it excellent color, as you can see. And these here I'm going to do at about 250, 260 maybe, for till they're done, actually, till they're nice and tender. We take a lot of the fat off because a lot of the fat is big thick fat chunks so that being said uh, we trim that up a little bit but uh, anyhow now I'll tell you what we've got old we've got little Enos here and they go we just pulled off some sausage there you guys so we still got some grill candy on there which just adds extra flavor spread that out a bit we're gonna let that smoke away and uh, we're gonna go to town and ouch that is hot now we'll see you in about an hour we'll check in on these bad boys love you all thanks for hanging with the chamois we're cooking pork belly oh john welcome back folks pork belly with the chemis in the traeger using apple pellets so good that apple oh it's great i use cherry too sometimes with pork but that apple is great so here we go we lost on a neighbor come over and i give him the middle little guy that's okay he uh, i said it still should go another couple hours but he said that's so good man i gotta take some of that home to my missus and, and she gotta try this this is amazing um there you are, you guys, just coming along. It's been about, what, John, about two hours, maybe? Okay. Yeah, about two hours, about 2.40ish, give or take, you guys. And uh, we're gonna let that go probably another two hours, nice and gentle, to where we can push our fingers right in. Just, yeah, it's getting there, it's getting there. But uh, you render this fat down too. So, anyhow, we are cooking away. I just wanted to touch base, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions or anything on the pork belly, just message me or call me or stop by. And, uh, We'll have you making that. Now that goes good, eh, John, in tacos. Even better in ramen. We make a homemade ramen. Well, Johnny makes the noodles and I make the ramen broth. And we slice that up thin and you put that in there. And I'll tell you what, you'll be beating down my front door for a bowl of that. Hey, Johnny? Yep. That's good stuff. Okay, <laughs> thanks for rolling with the chamois. We'll see you soon. Finished product will be up here shortly. How's that looking there, David L? <laughs> Is that looking good? Did you get in here and have a good look, John? I know we come off your filming post, Johnny. Okay, there you are, you guys. That's our uh, pork belly. Like I said earlier, we gave some away to the neighbor. Oh, that's just so tender, you guys. So what I got here is get a little view there. Oh, that's good stuff. That is homemade Shemi's apple jelly barbecue sauce. There's apple jelly, ketchup, salt, pepper, garlic, honey, brown sugar. You name it, it's in there. And uh, that's for my pork, you guys. Pork and chicken good on beef too because it goes good anywhere. Now we're just going to caramelize this one side up here and then we'll pull these bad boys. Look at that. Take this for a dip. People are going to just love this. There you are. Look at that. Look at that. And what I'll do folks is I'll just give that about 15 minutes on there just to tack up a bit and we're going to serve that and that's going to be amazing. Just amazing. Right on, thanks for rolling with the chamois. I'll uh, see you shortly, love you all. Oh, let me just see, John. I'm just gonna make sure I get the right one out. Okay, you live, Johnny? Yes, we're live. Oh, we are live. Here you are, oh. folks, welcome back. We just come over to... Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. We're over here at the grandparents. 
that's our pork belly there. We brought it over and I'm gonna show you how good this is when you're rolling with the chamois. Oh man, just look at that. Denise, I gotta sharpen this knife for you. Look at that, oh, excellent, you guys. I'm gonna cut it this way. Look at here. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. There you are, rolling with the chamois. See you next time. Thank you very much, pork belly. How is that, Eric? That's